Joe, who's a private midwife at UK Birth Centres, and she's going to tell us about how to top and tail baby. Hi, Joe. Hello. I mean, I think the reason that you've asked me to do this was uh, you did share with me your experience of when you were a new mum. Yes. Can you remember back to that? Yes, I can. All those years ago. And I was just terrified because I hadn't had a baby, hadn't really held a baby. When I came home from hospital with my son, I was, what do I do with him? How do I hold him? How do I wash him? And we meet so many mums at Love Boo who, you know, haven't had the experience either. So Hi. any tips you could give us? Well, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that I hear all the time is the first baby that I've ever held, Joe, is my own. Yeah and they are terrified. Mm. So I think the first thing that you um, tell them, or I, I try and reassure them, is that the babies love being held. So straight away, just holding your baby in your arms is going to make sure that that baby feels really calm and reassured. So when it comes to anything with the baby, um, you really aren't going to go very far wrong if you keep the baby firmly held and you're feeling like you're in control, you'll calm down with the baby. So now we've got a calm mum and a calm baby who's been a little bit sick, who's got a little bit of gunge in its hair. Mm -hmm. Sorry, little one. And it's a thing called vernix. So that's kind of the white stuff that you see on the baby when yes, they're so it's almost looks like lard. Yes, yes, it? The yes, sort of yes. things that you see long distance swimmers caking themselves. Yeah. Like babies are born with it. Oh, that's what And it's it protects the skin. But it also has this fantastic antibacterial property, which really we don't want to get rid of. So we use our common sense. If the baby's got quite a lot of gunge and stuff in its hair, it makes sense to wash it off. But in the nooks and crannies under the little arms and folds, you'll see these little white. Don't wash it off. It's like it's a gem. It's got these antibacterial properties and it will really, it's best that it's slowly absorbed. So how long would that take? How long would the would the vernix stay? It's probably only going to take 24, 48 hours. Mm. But I think if we tend to think about the baby's skin as being so delicate in the first month of life, and that's where the top and tail comes in, really. So basically, shall we have a little go on our baby? Let's have a go. So we're, first of all, we're looking at, um, we're just going to use water. So we filled our bath, but because we're later going to show about how to bath a baby, yeah. you wouldn't need a big uh, container like this, you would just use a, a small container and you can get um, little containers that have one department for your cotton wool and one mm -hmm. department for your water. Oh yes, I've seen a, All your I guess a kitchen bowl if, if, Perfect. if nothing yes, else. Yes, yeah. a little bit of a plastic bowl would be fine. Now, because the water's um, tap water, mm. you wouldn't want to use tap water to clean the baby's eyes. Now, this is because the tears, the teardrop uh, ducts aren't fully formed. So you're trying to um, allow, so basically don't touch the eyes if they're not sticky or they're not showing any signs of um, needing it, yeah. leave well alone. Okay. And if you thought, sometimes they have something that looks like a bit of sleep, mm. you would use boiled cooled water so that you're pure if you purify the water. I see. So make sure it's completely cooled down. And do you still do you do the uh, wrist test? That would be for when we're bathing. Mm. For the eye, if we're if we're boiling and cooling the water, you you would want it to be pretty almost cold. Yes, just yeah. So for for, for our purposes here, we've got a, a baby with bright eyes, doesn't we're not going to clean those and um, we're just going to top and tail which is cleaning the face, and then we'll go on to clean the hair. So cotton wool, and then um, again, you're right to say, we, because we're going to wash the face, you would test it with the yes. wrist, because the wrist is a, a very delicate part of our skin. Um, if we used our hands, we might miss that the water's a bit too hot. Yeah, so you so can you want to feel it, can yeah. you? can feel it's the right temperature. So you've moistened your cotton wool, and then we start from the middle of the baby's face and keep talking to the baby, tell the baby well what it's doing. This it. <laughs> is a very well behaved <laughs> baby. And can you see I'm just doing gentle stroking movements from the middle out, and then we follow up those stroking movements to dry it from the middle out. 
And if we notice that the baby had something stuck up a nostril or in the ear, we wouldn't use cotton buds at this stage because they're, they're, they'd be a little bit harsh. Mm. So we, you use cotton wool that you've moistened and then you squeeze it and just tease it to a point and you find that then you can make it nice and small and now that will gently go up a nostril, oh. swizzle, swizzle. Yeah. And it may not get anything down, you know. Mm. Um, you might think, oh, I can't get it out. But what will probably happen is in a minute or two, the baby would sneeze. And because so they're having their nostrils tickle. Yes. So that, that's the very gentle way to clear a baby's mm. nose. And again, you do the same in and around the creases of the ears okay. with something similar. Because the temptation is sometimes when they've got a cold and they're a little bit bummed up, yes. to start kicking and prodding a little bit. Then you just repeat the same on the other. The reason that we do it half a side at a time is in case there happens to be any little um, spot, you're not transferring it all over the place, yes. you're isolating yes. it. And it's very gentle, isn't it? It's getting used to that sensation That's of water right. on the face. And I guess if you're looking calm and happy and chatting, that gives them... It does, and, it, and they pick up on that. So, yeah. you know, you find that, you know, very often at first, maybe the baby will cry. It's because the babies are just new to everything. Yes. So don't think, oh, that's because I'm not very good mm. at it. It's just because you're both learning together. Yeah. And you'll get better. Yeah. So we've done the face, now we're going to go on to the hair. Maybe you could choose a little product because we're going to put a little bit of um, shampoo on the baby's hair. Now, some people um, like to know about how we swaddle a baby. Mm. And this is, you go lay the baby on the back, get the towel underneath the nape of the neck, and then you do a diagonal fold with one side tuck it under and then a diagonal fold on the other side but then in order so that the baby's not going to wriggle out you get a third amount of towel and tuck that under again oh, okay so then they're nice and secure they feel safe yeah. you've got them safe um, and that means that you then hold them up I say like a set of bulk pipes <laughs> they're against you on the hip they're lying along the forearm yeah. and then you've got the, the head safely. So you've got complete control of baby, they yes. feel nice and secure. Um, and then you've got this hand free, so it's a case of, oh, the teeth are going to have. Yeah. So you scoot water up, a bit like if they're being christened, and they often really like that. And then a little bit of hair. Uh, so we've got our top to toe wash. So suitable for hair and body. Obviously there's no sodium lauryl sulfate, nothing that's going to dry their skin. Okay, um, so we're just using a flat hand because they have these little fontanelles, they're called soft spots, oh, one yes, at the top, one at the back, but if you're keeping your hand nice and, you know, your, your fingers straight like this, you're not going to cause any problems. And then it's a case of just rinsing it off. You make it look so easy. Well, it does have the space of ball. I wish you'd have been at my house when I first brought my babies home. <laughs> so now we, we undo the towel and then we get, and again it's just nice and soft, gently to dry. So you've managed to do that all really one handed and keeping babies feeling secure because you've had him wrapped in, up. In that sort of swaddle in position. The swaddling. That's right.